Hey Minecrafters, welcome back to the channel, or to the channel if you're new here, and to episode 3 in my Medieval Minecraft mod pack series. There's lots of stuff that I have to update you on today because I did a, a few things in between episodes that I'll show you and a couple of things I have learned about uh, some of the mods in this pack. So I'm really excited to get started. So grab a drink, grab a snack, or whatever it is that you get for while you watch videos, and let's get on with the fun. So I'm sure one of the first things you're going to notice is the diamond pick in my hand. <laughs> I spent some time rolling villagers and getting some of the trades going because, as you know, if you watch any of my other videos and where I've done villager trading, that is a royal pain in my butt. So I did that for three episodes and I did go down to the mining area below, well, the mining area I created below. I will show you. But down here, there's all kinds of little hallways and stuff over here that I have. The, the smaller hallways are those little lines you can see in the mini map and then I did like this huge chunk area here and I got I think like I don't even know how many diamonds not that many but enough to make a pick and stuff so um I got the pick going and all that and I did some trading with the villagers now for whatever reason enchanting on anvils is really expensive like more than normal and I know I do have boon of the earth on this so I'm not sure if that's causing the enchant to be really expensive it was 61 experience to do this pickaxe so I'm not sure if that's something to do with one of the mods in this pack. I know some people have mentioned it in their Discord as well, so I don't know what that's about. If anybody knows, let me know, but it is very expensive to enchant in this pack. So, uh, that's the update on the pick. It's, it, it was expensive, but it's worth it. So it's got Mending, Unbreaking, Fortune, Vein Mining, Efficiency 5, and Boon of the Earth, so it's pretty good. Um, took me quite a few... I want to say quite a few hours, like two to three hours to get everything done between all the rolling of the villagers and, of course, the enchanting of the pick and getting the experience and all that stuff. Sorry, you guys might hear sirens. I, like, paused because it's right by the window. Hopefully it's not coming through. But anyways, okay, so that's the update on the pick. But that's literally all we got was a pick because I wasn't spending another three or four hours, like... <laughs> doing anything crazy um and we also have we moved our uh i can't alchemist i guess villager over here and i maxed out his trades because we've got the um what are they called the fletchers so i've been trading sticks with them we've got this guy traded up with and he sells dragon breath and stuff like that he's supposed to sell um ender pearls too but i think that might be like how in vanilla with the villagers certain ones do certain trades or whatever so um yeah we will have to i guess get another one going but that's fine because i can get blaze powder and stuff from him which is how i was doing um some of the other stuff and as well i also made with some of the diamonds i made um a magnum torch i think i made a few i think i made two two diamond magnum torches which is really good because it'll stop um any enemy spawns in the area which is really handy i've kind of extended the blocks as well so it's quite a big area around where the torch is so it's perfect <laughs> now i don't have to stress about it being nighttime and panicking anytime i'm around here so yeah that's that update i've learned a couple things about the wizard mod um so that one uh, if i find any wands or anything or any of the staffs we can use the runes and combine it with the staffs and stuff to um, I guess use them as you know, magic weapons and the robes are also really good for that as well But I still haven't really figured out like the whole gear system in this and all of like the artifacts and stuff That's just gonna be a learning process on its own I, <laughs> There's just so much to learn. Um, that's what I've learned so far. I'm just looking at my list here mm, Arcanist legacy also adds some spells and stuff that you can like draw on your screen So I guess we can kind of see if we can do that today or at least learn that a little bit uh, what else did I do? Um, <laughs> I, I want to try to craft a Book of Shadows for Bewitchment, which is another magic mod in this. So we'll have to try to find some mangrove trees today. What else? Mm, I guess we can go and do that floaty ship that is that we found in, I think, the first episode or second episode and uh, nothing else really on my list um yeah i already explained the pickaxe and stuff so yeah honestly that's pretty much all i had on my list the rest of it we're just gonna fly by the seat of our pants as i like to say um so let's munch up some burgers 
I'm gonna go and mend this pickaxe, I think. So I'm going to break down. I planted some trees out here. So we're gonna break down some of these birches actually, because I don't want to get rid of these pretty oaks. I planted them, or basically, yeah, plants, planted saplings. Yep, that's the word. <laughs> I planted some saplings, but I would rather grab some of these birches instead and use them. Oops, use them for sticks. Oh my gosh, going between. <laughs> going between mod packs like better minecraft this one and i've been playing with like vault hunters and stuff like that <laughs> it's, it's so hard to remember what i've done in what pack my brain is just like completely overloaded and as somebody actually mentioned in the comments that uh, instead of throwing out saddles and leather armor i can break them down on the cutting boards to get leather so i'll definitely have to remember that um because it was painting them to see me tossing them out so i'll definitely have to make a mental note to uh to do that for sure oh my gosh if i could remember to stand close enough and not swing my axe there we go all right let's make some sticks and get this pickaxe repaired up Oh, why am I making birch? Oh my god, I'm so... <laughs> I forgot to split them, so I made birch buttons. Oh no. Uh, well, that was a waste. Alright, well, ignore that. I guess I could just do this. There we go. Alright, let's go see the Fletchers. <laughs> oh, we're starting off strong today. Let's go. I'm definitely gonna have to get some more Fletchers and stuff, but I just wanted to do like a quick little setup with the, the traders because, or the villagers or whatever you want to call them, because um, I was getting really impatient. All right. Heal me up. Oh my gosh, it's gonna take forever. Holy cow. try to put some copper as well in the furnace that should get it healed up pretty quickly i keep saying healed but you know what i mean heal repair you know same thing sort of okay so what did i say i wanted to do oh, actually what do i have magic wise let's see um those are just normal enchants okay so i don't think i have anything or do I? Oh my god, why can't I open my chest? Hello? So are these- I'm wondering if these are the spell tomes that it said to read. Oh, it is. Okay, so we're gonna read all of these. I already know that spell. Okay. Okay. Oh, I already know that spell. Okay. I already know that one. Oh, and I made a spyglass too. I don't remember if I did that in the last episode. Okay, so we got all of those. All right, so, but now how do I, how do I do the spells though? Let's see, let's look up the control for that. Control, spell, hop, our left, alt. No. Do I have to have like a specific, I will probably have to have a specific weapon. Um, maybe I have to have like the book. Is there, like a book I have to have? Oh wait, I don't think that's from Bewitchment. Which one was that from? Oh my gosh. Uh, which mod is that from? Spell tome. Archon. Okay. So how do I do the spells though? Um hmm. Grimoire. A book and a lapis. Okay, let's make that. If I have any books. 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 I don't know why I can't reach that for whatever reason. That's weird. Okay, so lapis. Let's make this. Okay, here we go. Okay.
So I'm guessing that's the mana bar that's like the little kind of like blue stars on the bottom underneath my boots. Yeah, okay, because that's what it matches. Okay. Basics of mana. You may have already noticed the counter at the bottom left of your screen. Oh, well, kind of bottom left, I guess. Bottom right. I don't know. The counter represents your mana and max mana. Mana flows through all living entities and can be used by players for different things. Mana is passively generated at base rate of one mana per second. Your mana regen speed and max mana can be upgraded with the use of different items like scrolls. Okay, so channeler. The channeler is a core item that allows you to channel mana into blocks, resulting in specific items. Channeling requires different amounts of mana per recipe, and the items produced are used for different things. The seal channeling recipes is recommended. Okay, so I have that. Ancient scrolls. Ancient scrolls are special items that, when used, provide the player with a specific mana enchantment. En enchantment? <laughs> Please note that you can only bind one scroll to yourself at a time, so choose carefully. The capacity scroll can be obtained as a trade from the wizard villager or from spires and increases a player's max mana to 200. Okay, so that villager that we found in the tower, we need to find another one. Because unless I can change a villager, I don't think I can. Um, but um, I guess we can try to go on an adventure and find another one so we can max our mana out to 200. Mask of Power. Oh, Glisteel ingots. How do you make those? I have to look at that. Okay. So the Mask of Power is a diamond tier helmet that increases a user's mana regen speed to four mana per second. The Mask of Power does not combine with the Accelerate Scroll. Oh my gosh, there's so much. This is wild. Mana Catalysts. Mana Catalysts are blocks that increase the max mana of all players within a radius. Each Catalyst has a different range and mana increase depending or if I could read, each catalyst has a different range in mana increase depending on the tier. The normal has a range of 16 and boost of 50. Diamond has a range of 22 and boost of 100. And netherite has a range of 34 and boost of 200. Interesting. So we're definitely, I think for like whatever build I decide to do, even though I'm not a builder, it'll definitely be very magic based because it seems like you need like little stations and stuff for different magical aspects of the game, which is really cool. Um, definitely a learning curve for sure. So weapons and gear. Um, ooh, sky end. So, like obviously earth, water, fire and sky or something that you would expect, but end. I wonder if that's like harnessing the power of the end. Sorry, I keep stopping to drink my tea. Um, the Ender Blade allows you to teleport up to eight blocks in the dire direction you are looking. Sky. The Thunderbolt will strike lightning on four blocks around you. The lightning does not produce fire and will not damage you. Earth, which is a terrain mace. The terrain mace allows you to fling up and damage living entities around you. It will not damage mobs tamed to you. Okay. The Water Staff fires small high-speed water balls at your targets. Oh... Heat Ranger. The Heat Ranger is a bow that does not consume arrows. It shoots powerful fireballs with speed relative to the pullback of the shot. Okay, so it seems like there's these specific gems to this mod. So let's look at this. So how do we make the Gill Steel ingots? World Gen. Okay, those don't seem to be bosses, spells. But I saw something about Gill Steel. There's Harvesters. Harvesters act as normal weapons, but with additional drop bonuses, each element of Harvester gives drops from mobs related to that element. So Rocky Harvester, Zombie, Rotten Flesh Skeleton, Bone Slime, Slime Ball. It's hard to read. Okay, so wow, there's going to be a lot of stuff I need to do. I need to look up Gill Steel. How do I make Gill Steel? What? Wait, what? Didn't that thing say you need gill steel for it? Wait, what was the thing that I saw that needs gill steel? The channeler? No. This. Oh, glisteel, not gill steel. <laughs> there we go. Glisteel. Okay, so you get glisteel. F What do you get glisteel from? Normally there's like a, you know, where it spawns and stuff, but it doesn't say. Do I have any glisteel? 
Moonstone, raw silver, jello. <laughs> All right, so I guess I have to figure out where to get Glisteel from. So that's going to have to go on the list. I'm guessing it's another one of the ores that you mine, because there's a bunch of really pretty ores and stuff that I discovered while mining. Um, so I do want to make that book for Bewitchment, like I said. Um, so yeah, let's figure out where there's some mangrove, because I... I'm assuming they just mean normal vanilla mangrove. All right, so from what I can see, it's definitely vanilla mangrove. Unless I'm misunderstanding. Hopefully I'm not misunderstanding. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So let's see. And I'm so sorry again about the sirens, you guys. I just listened back to the start. Literally, as soon as I started the video, the sirens started. So uh, they're not very loud, but <laughs> I apologize anyways. Um, unfortunately, when you live in a city, that kind of just goes with the, the territory. And because it's warmer weather now and the window's always open, so yeah, it's unavoidable. Um, yeah, I don't think we found any mangrove. Is the compass in this? What compasses are these? Recovery compass, nature's compass. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's make a nature's compass. And then we will, uh... Find a mangrove area. So logs, saplings, and I don't know if I have a compass already. I do. Okay, and then logs. Oh my gosh. Definitely need to do some better organizing here. Some saplings. Grab those. I think that was it. Was that it? Yes. All right. All right, so. Let's see. I guess we can put this book away for now. We got our <laughs> nausea inducing spyglass. All right, so man. Mangrove swamp. All right, so start search. 1,830 that way. Uh, do we have a boat? Yes. All right, let's go grab some grab some mangrove. Um, wait, which way am I facing? Oh gosh, northeast. So northeast. Okay, yeah, it's not uncovered yet. All right, well, time to go adventure. Let's go find some mangrove. Hey, mumus. Hey, mumus. This way. I guess we can kind of collect some stuff on our, our adventure as well. What's this? Avocado bundle. What can we make with avocados? Salads? Midori rolls? Beef burrito? Avocado toast? Avocado crates? I never really like get into like the other foods and stuff because I'm so in love with the burgers but maybe just for the sake of like decoration because i know you can place them down as a decoration in <laughs> like a kitchen or whatever so uh yeah maybe i'll maybe i'll make something like that oh my gosh that i was going the wrong way for a second <laughs> actually let's grab some of these just in case we need them Oh gosh, loading chunks. Oh, game no leggy. Oh gosh, nope, 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 God, they're quick. Oh my God, that sound was terrifying. Like it made me fully stop because I didn't know what that was, and I saw their stinky white heads poking out. Ah, those things are creepy. Oh, elephants! Hey, buddy! Oh, not elephant, rhino! Sorry, you kind of look like an elephant in the back. Oh my gosh, my drink's going down quick, and I'm not, I don't even have uh, the temperature mod in this. 
Oh, and I was told that you could also get milk from like buffaloes and stuff like that too, which is good. So if we run out of milk and there's no cows around, we'll just look for some buffalo or some goats. Oh, up, 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 up. How much further do we gotta go? Oh my gosh, still got a ways. Is that a- oh my gosh, of course I put my- my, uh, spyglass. Is that a boat? That is a boat. Alright, we're gonna go- <sighs> I have enough space. <laughs> we're gonna go check this out really quickly. Oh, and there's another little- one of those huts, so we're gonna go check that out too. I will be over there for you- ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh what's that? Ooh. Things to explore! I have to remember what we're on the adventure for, but ooh! <laughs> Loot! Oh, it's just a small boat. Woo! Goodies! Is this gonna have one where there's stuff below? Um, yes. Maybe? Oh no, I'm gonna... Oh god, I'm gonna drown. Here we go. Okay, so what's that? What did I just get? So we got contains one level for the tome. Relic. Mythical. Breaking speed. Okay, we're just gonna replace the thing that we have. <laughs> Look at our outfit! We're just- we're becoming such a fashionista! <laughs> oh god, it's terrible. <laughs> what's this? Enchanted golden moss clump. What does that do? It's from Immersive Weathering. Wait, I thought I removed Immersive Weathering. Guess I forgot to remove it. Okay. Um, put all that. Ooh, we get to spin our globe. You spin me right round. Isn't that the achievement you get? Hold on. Now I have to see. Hold on. Wait, I thought that was the achievement that you get. Isn't there an achievement you're supposed to get from this? There we go. That's the achievement. You spin me right round, baby. Okay. Um... Oh, where is my brain right now? There we go. All right, let's go to that little hut. I think the biggest thing that I would like to see a change of is the backpack sizes because like that just drives me absolutely bonkers. Oh, whoa, that's one of those giant pillager towers. Yep. As these travelers backpacks are quite small. Keep hitting my middle mouse button. In. <laughs> Just so the inventory. All right, we're not gonna keep getting distracted, so we're gonna we're gonna go find our mangrove. Because I want to make that bewitchment book. Because I want to be a wizard or a witch. Oh, that's like a whole pillager like um, encampment. Let me just mark this actually. Villager encampment. And that'll definitely be something we go explore. There's a few things that um, we need to do. We need to go back to see what that temple was that we ended the last episode at. With all the little... The zombies and stuff below. I see a boat. <laughs> that white flashing is kind of wild to see when you're on the ocean. It's kind of neat looking though. Hey friends. I'm gonna sleep on your boat, okay? If you don't mind. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna have space to do that. Nope. Um, that's not good. Uh oh, spaghettios. Let's grab this. Oh, and then we'll do. I'm sorry, I'm tearing apart your boat. 
I do it like this? Will it let me? There we go. Oops. Bye bye, galaxies. All right. So, what did we get? We got a fishing pole, chainmail chest plate. Wait, where did my. Oh, there it is. I'm <laughs> pressing the dang button all right so we'll put all this stuff in here we're gonna get rid of that and that and that munch on a burger have some water should always have water when you wake up i want to take you you, you want to go on a ride you want to be you want to be my my, my buddy, my trip buddy, can I go in? <laughs> if I find a village along the way, sir, I will drop you off. If not, you're coming on an adventure with me. All right, let's see how far we gotta go. 483 blocks, all right. Let's just go, oops. All the way around, maybe, maybe we shall see. Oh, rain. Oh. Oh, the rain actually looks really good. Holy cow. Looks so realistic. Um, I'm guessing this way. Oh, my s the servers doing this whole waiting for server thing. All right, so let's see. 221. My hunting is leveled up to three. Like, what am I? Oh yeah, so there's um professions and stuff in this as well. So you earn money and experience by trading items to villagers for trading. Enchanting is earn money and experience by enchanting. Uh, hunting, earn money and experience by hunting animals, killing monsters, and exploring. Oh, okay. So that's why I keep getting it from exploring. I was so confused. There's fishing, crafting, farming, logging, mining, alchemy, building, and smithing. So, yeah. That's a pretty cool little addition. I don't really know what else it does, like if it adds anything specific. But uh, again, there's just so much to learn in this pack. Oh, there's the mangroves. So wait, hold on. It said, what did I need again? Mangrove root, I think? Where's the book? Um, where is the book? Oh, this is the one with like the demons and stuff. That's so cool. Oh, we're gonna have, we're gonna have to have like a, a witch kind of like, I don't even know. Not a castle, cause it's really big, but. Oh, I didn't add the mod in here that uh, gives me creative flight for while I'm building. I'll have to add that. Okay, so where's the book? Eh? It says it on their curse forge page. Am I just blind? Book of Shadows. Chronicle of Shadows, Book of Shadows. Yeah, there we go. Man, oh, Mandrake, not Mangrove. Oh no. Oh no. I thought it said Mangrove. No. How do we get a Mandrake root? Oh no. I'm such a derp. I thought it said mangrove. Oh, fudge. Well, but I, uh, where do I get mandrake from? Oh man, hold on. Can it, does it, does it tell me? Mandrake. Mandrake seeds. Oh, you can plant mandrake seeds. Okay, so we might actually have some at home. So I'm gonna, just go over here for a quick second since we traveled all the way over here. I want to see if one of those cool froggy temple things is here. Beneath the wetlands. Yeah, there's a there's like an actual mod in here that adds like wetlands um inspired like content and stuff. Oh my god, it drops my ooh. The mangrove the mangrove areas t like always mess with my my FPS. What's this? Is this part of the Beneath the Wetlands? Interesting. 
Withering branches, mud, blue basal. Okay, that's uh, what I forgot to uh, to remove. I forgot to remove immersive weathering for sure. I mean, my FPS is still pretty good, but I definitely uh, I might remove that if it starts to drive me bonkers. All right, well, time to go home, folks. I don't think we have enough waystones to... I don't think I have any waystones left. Nope. All right, well, I'll meet you back at home. Got out of the boat. Just start running home. There's a pillager right there. Oh, and I dropped off our villager friend. Okay, good. He's chasing me. Okay. Whew. All right. Oh, gosh. There's more pillagers over here, too. Oh, no. I'm just trying to get home. Leave me, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Well, rip our villager friend. I didn't even see him. I thought we were far enough away. And then all of a sudden, I heard the arrow and just like ran <laughs> oh no our poor villager friend i'm sorry all right home sweet home so we're gonna make a little area to plant some mandrake seeds if we have any and if not, we're going to go smack some grass. But first, we need to fill up our water, because apparently that went really quickly. All right. What's this? Divine chest plate can deflect a hit once in a minute. Zero out of four parts equipped. Huh. What does that do? All right, I'm gonna empty my bags and I'll bring you guys back and then we will figure out the mandrakes. Mandrake, mangrove, I'm gonna, I swear I'm gonna mix them up. All right, so let's see. <gasps> Mandrake seeds, perfect. Okay, I wonder if they work with bone meal. I guess we're gonna find out. Oops. This. Um, do we have a hoe? I don't know, possibly, maybe. Um, I made a diamond axe, but I never enchanted it. And I really want to know what to do with these, like, negative... I know you can reforge. So, like, this pickaxe, this rare diamond pickaxe, it wasn't rare before. I reforged it. Wait. I swear I reforged it in the anvil. Where's the reforge tab? Wait, what? So, before there was a tab at the top... There was a pack update today. Did it remove that? Because before there was a, a forge tab up here and you could put your stuff in and like put the different things in and then it would reforge the item, which is how I got this. Wait, I'm so confused. I'm going to have to read the patch notes because for some reason it's not there. Huh. All right, so let's make a hoe. That was really frustrating. I swore I read everything. I guess not. So we'll plant them away from our normal little farm here. Do I even have like a space? I guess I can... Mm, that's not really next to the water per se. So we'll just do this. Does bone meal work on them? Yes. Time to make a bewitchment bug. Let's go. All right, we got plenty of roots. I'll just let those grow there. And then we shall grab a book. And then we go like this and like this. Oh, this is exciting. Okay, 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 okay. Let's drink some water first. Okay. A witchy codex. This book shall guide you through the art. Introduction. 
So it's the trees, so crops, you've got the aconite, belladonna, garlic, and mandrake root. Witchcraft utilizes several natural crops for the art. These crops are used for rituals, brewing, and many other things. Seeds for these crops can be found in wild grass, much like other seeds. The four regular crops are aconite, bel uh, aconite, aconite, belladonna, garlic, and mandrake. Aconite or aconite is mostly used as a neurotoxin, whereas belladonna is known for causing physical harm. Indeed, it does. Uh, garlic embodies healing, and mandrake enhances magic. Garlic can also be roasted into delicious grilled garlic. Oh my gosh, I love roasted garlic and grilled garlic. So good. Uh, grilled garlic can in turn be crafted into more delicious garlic bread. Yes, I love it. roasting garlic in the oven and then putting it over like freshly baked bread and sprinkling on like fresh Parmesan cheese and then putting it under the broiler for like a couple seconds or whatever. It's just so delicious. It's really, you'll be a little stinky for a couple days, but I mean, it's delicious. Try it, trust me. <laughs> um, let's see, so cypress trees. Cypress trees spawn in taiga and swamp biomes. Relating to death, blocks made from it will mask you from undead in a small area. Ooh, that's really cool. Juniper trees. The juniper tree represents life. You can insert up to three tag logs into blocks made with this wood. On use, these blocks will gather tag logs of anyone but their owner. Tag locks are inserted by sneaking while using them on the block. You can gather them while using in a theme while sneaking. So that's more for like a PvP, I guess. Like PvP or like a multiplayer server. Elder trees. This noble tree spawns in forest biomes. It is often associated with knowledge and intelligence. Blocks made with this wood can be locked using a silver ingot. Locked blocks can be given tag locks to white slash blacklist certain players. So yeah, this is good for a uh, multiplayer. I do know that Bewitchment is the one that adds the really cool chests, the ones that are like quite large. So that's definitely uh, what I'm gonna be going for in terms of storage for sure. Uh, silver, yep. Yeah. So silver, I know about that. I have got some from mining, salt, got that from mining. Oh, actually I should probably read what salt's good for though. Used since ancient times, salt can be placed as a dust to block on holy creatures, giving it a reputation as a protector. Yeah, so I think that's what you do for like the rituals and stuff like that. Other than being protective, uh, salt also serves as a common witching material. Salt ore can be found closely by the surface. Oh, oops. I don't know why I clicked back like a ding dong. There we go. Oh, yeah. So that's how you do like the. OK, OK, OK. okay. I think I've seen something about this mod before. Um, I didn't really read about silver though. Generating near gold silver is a symbol of purity. Blocks of silver silver will damage unholy entities that stand on top of it. Anytime the term unholy entity is used in this book is equivalent to if the given entity has a weakness to the smite enchantment. Oh, so anything like undead. Okay. Cool. And yew trees. Yew trees found in mountainous biomes. Beware of the leshen? <laughs> Okay, tools. A theme. A theme is an essential tool to any witch. It can be used to gather heads from mobs, among other niche uses. Um, being made out of silver, it is perfectly usable against unholy creatures. Bottles of blood can be obtained by slaying a humanoid within a theme. Again, that's good for like multiplayer. Witch cauldron. By reinforcing a regular cauldron with silver, you can create a witch cauldron. This magical cauldron is extremely versatile in use and is named is namely used for oil crafting, brewing, and teleportation. This mod is so in depth. Holy cow. Blackstone coffins. Coffins originally emerging from vampires have recently found traction, especially among night active witches. When you sleep in one, you can skip the day. Coffins, much like beds, can be dyed if they're white. Oh, okay interesting so if i want it to be nighttime make a coffin okay candelabras are one fancy source of lighting oh my god i'm gonna have like the, the most beautiful witch house ever <laughs> they can be lit with a flint and steel when lit they will repel ghosts preventing them from going near from going near it with better materials increasing the repelling effects interesting oh i'm in love with this mod oh my god Coffins originally emerging from vampires have recently found... Oh, wait. Wait, I just read that. Oh, demonic deed. The certificate of filth... <laughs> certificate of filth shows that you have slain Beelzebub. Uh, Beelzebub? Beelzebub? Why am I not able to say that? Beelzebub. Probably. <laughs> it can be signed using a tag lock. The signed demonic deed can in turn be used to tame demons to whoever it is bound to. 
Tamed demons behave much like wolves in that they will help you in combat. They can be commanded to remain at your position or follow you and will still offer their trades. Oh, they trade. Additionally, they can be fed cake to regenerate health. <laughs> All the cake. They love their cake. Elite coffin. Ooh, it's colorful. The elite coffin is the only coffin for the truest witches. Using... A witches don't sleep in coffins. <laughs> Is the only coffin for the truest witches. Using the power of the primal colors, it conjures a magic glow of light around it. That's so cool. Oh, wait. Did that show? Oh, just the recipes. Okay. Goblets. Used with a theme. An offhand to spill your blood. Vampires. Wait. If I could read. Used with a theme. An offhand to spill your blood. Vampires might want to trick you into drinking it. It can also be used on offhand when killing humanoids to fill with regular blood. Can harvest unicorn blood. Wait, 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 wait. There's unicorns in the... Hold on. <laughs> There's unicorns in this pack. Hold, hold the phones. One second. <gasps> There's unicorns in this pack? <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> Magic protection is a very useful armor enchantment for dueling witches to have. Not only does it reduce magic damage taken, it will also reduce the duration of negative potion effects. Okay. Moonflower. It sure is useful to know what moon phase for the up It sure is useful to know what moon phase for the upcoming night by watering a potted plant with some moonlight infusion. That I, didn't make any sense, I guess. Wait, what? <laughs> Statues. <laughs> Excuse me. Decorative De decorative decorate decorative statues of your favorite demon i don't know why i can't read today it's oh jeez taglock we read about that witchy dye by simply mixing some aqua serrate aqua serrate with dye handy throwable dye can be crafted this witchy dye is used primarily to tint worn equipment but it can also be used to dye werewolves man this this mod is wild holy cow creatures oh boy here we go hold on i need to read about the unicorn first Oh my god, look at it! Oh. Oh, can I tame it? Please tell me I can tame it. Unicorn, don't you dare slay it. That would be a great sin. Yes, it would. Their blood could be drunk drank with the goblet to save yourself from death, but the cost of splay splaying? I was gonna say slaying something so pure would be the curse of half-life summoned with the spectre. <gasps> you can summon it and ride it, I hope. That would be so nice. Oh unicorns are my favorite. Black dog, found your villages. Cool. Can Cambion, found your villages. Ghost, we've already seen them. Actually, I want to read what that says, though. Hold on. I'm clicking too quickly here. Ghost. Ghosts are lost souls wandering the wake at night wherever they can. Some of this uh, has quite a few typos, so I'm trying to read it the best I can. Upon noticing nearby humans, they will appear. They will apply their short-lived curses in the form of negative status effects. Yeah, we've already, uh, we've already experienced that one. Um, Niffler. Niffler will steal your gold from your chest, summoned with the spectral familiar ritual. They can steal my gold. How dare. Hopefully they can't open doors. <laughs> uh, owls. Yes, we saw the owls. Owls are usually active during the night and usually spawn in forests and taigas. They drop feathers like any bird. Owls can be tamed with raw rabbit and bred with raw chicken. Okay, so if we see another owl, actually, we should carry raw rabbit on us if we have any. Because I want an owl. Um, Phoenix. Oh, I saw one of these the other day flying near the village. Oh, it doesn't say how to tame it or anything. No, it was flying or behind this house. Um, what's a werepire? This horrid offspring between a vampire and a werewolf spawns in taiga's icy biomes and forests on a full moon. Due to their size, they are not able to fly freely despite their wings, so they may use their wings to fling themselves towards their prey, which is usually humanoid. Werepires only appear in full moons and turn back to their non-beast form when morning breaks. That's really cool. Vampires. Vampires are masters of the night with few weaknesses. They appear in plains and taiga biomes on new moons where there's the least light. They are known to attack humans, so you should equip yourself against them with fire or smite. Cool. And rituals. Spectral familiar. How about familiars from another universe? How about familiars from another universe drop souls? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> what? 
I'm guessing that's how you summon like the, the animals you write about. Cool. Okay, so this mod is just so in depth. Holy cow. Okay. Um, yeah, that's gonna take some uh, tinkering between episodes for me because I've already spent a lot of time reading. So yeah. Um, let me just empty the stuff. One sec. All right, so I want to go over to that um, that temple that we found. Oh, I didn't get rid of the bone meal. Oh well, whatever. That's fine. Let's go over there and go and see what is down below here. See if there's any goodies down here for us. I should have probably brought a building block. So let me grab some blocks because those, I remember those stairs being a bit wonky. Um, I'm trying not to tear this place up too badly. Oh, of course. Oh, I thought I just saw a silverfish. Okay. All right. So where were the stairs again? I think they were over here. Yes. Oh, I see silverfish on the mini map. Nah. Hello? Oh, goodness. Oh, right, the swinging. Oh, the swinging. You and your stupid potions go away. Ooh, there's chests in these. Okay. I'm just gonna light this up. I see silverfish on the map. Oh. All right, let's open these. Oh, ding. Any more spawners? No? Soul sand. Actually, I'll grab that in case we need it for something. What's in here? Level three ruins loot. This is level three? Or was level two and one? Oh, and bags are full. <laughs> struggle, st the struggle continues. Oh goodness, okay. All right, not bad. Got some goodies, oops, need that. All right, onward, onward. Oh, 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 oh. I uh, know you don't. Uh, I'm a little concerned that I'm going to walk into one of these now. You stinky little squirrely bugger. Oh, you're coming from downstairs. Probably more spawners down there. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait to loot that. Cause these little buggers are gonna drive me bonkers. Get Oh, this is about to get wild! Oh buddy! Oh buddy! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I just fell. Oh, I just fell. Oh, I just fell. Oh, I just fell. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Yes, get him. Get him, skeleton. Get him. Oh my god. That was wild. Thank the... Oh, a witch hat. Thank... Hopefully we have the sword. <laughs> And this gear, oh my god, my boots are already almost broken. I need to make one of those, um, those bows with endless quiver. Oh my 
gosh, is there like a spawner in there or something? Hello? Oh god, I'm gonna die. Ooh, I am gonna die. There has to be a spawner in there. Holy guacamole. I was not paying attention to my health. That was really stupid. <laughs> there has to be a spawner in there. I don't even know if I'm geared enough for this. Quiet there. Oh my god. <laughs> this is terrifying. No. Big bullies. Jeez. Oh my god. I am like, this is wild. Oh my god. I need to get rid of these vines. I'm mean nuts. Oh, gotta bust out the other backpack. Okay, I locked the witches in, so that's good. All right, okay. So I locked the witches in. That's good. Oh. Jeez. I need to get my blocks. Wait, where did you come from? I need more blocks. Guess we're gonna be doing this the sneaky way. Okay, okay, all the doors are blocked. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna have to like sneak my way into getting those spawners somehow. Yep, there's a spawner in there. Oh my gosh, I hate that I can't break stuff with the... Stop drinking your stinking potions. Oh my gosh, my poor armor, my boots are about to break. to get to those spawners somehow. Of course, there's a stupid silverfish. Oh, for Pete's sake. I need to get those spawners. I gotta be sneaky. Oh, 
Oh, my sword's gonna break. Do I have another sword on me? Okay, I do. What's this? Cackling broom. Oh my god, go away. I'm trying to be sneaky. <laughs> What's in here? Is there anything in here that's useful? It's gonna help me. I can't even break that. Ooh, echo refreshment. Okay, I'll come back for that in a second. I just want to break those spotters. Oh my god. Okay, this one. Is there another one up here? No. Okay, that's two rooms. Those guys are having fun in there. Those are gone. I am not going over there yet. Okay, so this is the party room apparently. So we need to be sneaky about this. Ooh, it's a whole party in there. <laughs> I'm trying to get a torch down, but I can't. There's too many spawns. Oh my god. All right, let's see if I can do it through the wall. There we go. This <laughs> thing's trying to hit her. She's like, no, just, I'm, not, I'm not the one shutting the door. That's the witch. I'm not touching the door. Oh my God. That was insane. Literally insane. I should have grabbed that waystone actually because I'm definitely gonna need to empty my bags. I'm gonna go grab that waystone really quickly. Oh my god, I did not expect this temple to be so crazy. I mean, I guess I should have expected it, sort of, but how do I get back up? Hip? I just want my waystone, please. Oh, jeez. What? Hello? Wait. Where's my waystone? Oh my god, go away. Oh, hi, Firefly. lock this off. Oh, that did so much good. Whatever. Okay, let's go back down here. Sleep. And then put a waystone down. Go empty the bags and then come back, loot, and continue. Well, I guess this is going to be a temple episode. Holy moly. Oh, I actually need to fill up my water as well. Oh, definitely need to fill up my water. Okay. Put that down. Break that. Go home and empty bags and I'll be right back. All right, so bags are all empty, but I wanted to show you guys what I was talking about. So I just picked up the anvil and put it back down again. And now the reforge tab is here. So this is what you you uh, would use if you want to reroll these um, stats that you see on the bottom here. So uh, you put it in and say that you need like a diamond or a piece of... Uh, the amethyst shard I think it is sometimes you need like different uh, materials like iron or whatever it is but that's how you re-roll and I think it uses experience as well but uh yeah I was, I was going crazy I had no idea why it wasn't showing up but <laughs> there you go it's there I just had to put the anvil back down but yeah let's go back to the temple All right, Oop. missed that. I'll come, oh, I need to remove immersive weathering. I really hate how it makes the iron look. I have to remind myself to do that after I'm done. Okay, so I've cleared these rooms out. Oh. 
I forgot to get locks. Wait, where's a magnet? Okay. Oh. Is that it? Oh. That's it. All right. So. Oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe. <laughs> All right, should we get everything from here? No. So much stuff. It's all in the bag. This. And grab this. Oh my gosh. Ooh, lots of loot in this room. No wonder it was a party zone. Holy moly. Wait, did I see a third one or am I going crazy? Yeah, I'm going crazy. Okay. So go through all this loot when we get back. I keep putting the magnet in the bag. And grab the books because we're going to need them for trading. Because I plan on working on this villager some more to get some better enchants. Because, uh, yeah, lots of good enchants in this pack. Lots and lots of them. Oh my gosh. Woo, we are full. All right, so that was that one. I think there's a, still that room upstairs and I just did the exact same thing again with the magnet. <laughs> I wish it would go in a slot, but because it's not part of the pack uh, and I added it in myself, it doesn't fit any of the slots. is it unless I missed something um the only problem right now is <laughs> we are very far away from home so I think what I'm gonna have to do is just put leave the waystone here because I don't feel like traveling all the way back right now like by boat because I've already been recording for like an hour and a half, so we'll just put the, the waystone at the orchard because there's a bunch of apples, apple trees over there. I shall do that. Oh, I, I don't have a light draw. <laughs> Coming for playing better Minecraft. <laughs> God, I'm gonna just like jump off the side of a cliff and die because orange why did I just type orange <laughs> oh my god orchard <laughs> oh boy it is definitely that day holy guacamole I'm just in time to sleep let's go All right, so let me just get this emptied out and then we will uh, go and do something else before I have to end. So I need to figure out how to, oh, I guess I could, because I have the mending villagers and stuff. Why didn't I think of that? Hopefully we can put normal enchantments on this gear. So let's figure that out, shall we? Let's see if that is going to be a thing that we can do. I know I didn't trade for the best prices because I just got fed up. It was like, nah, I'm not doing this forever. Um, yeah, my mending is 34. Oh God. Okay, I'm gonna have to reroll my mending guy after uh, after I'm done. After I'm done uh, recording. But I will put unbreaking on these. 
I wonder what I need to repair them. I'm assuming they're iron, but I could be wrong. Wait, why did that just go all wonky like that? That was weird. Okay. What do I need to repair you? I'm guessing iron? Let's see. No. What are you? I wish it would tell you what you need to repair it. Ah, now I really need to put mending on. Uh, do I have any good boots? I don't. Let's make some boots. Oh my god, look at that. Common armor boots. Negative two armor, negative 30% durability. Oof. What do I need to re-roll them? Although I don't really want to waste anything on re-rolling them. Iron. Oh, I'm so dumb. Why did I click off? Oh, I'm again. <laughs> My brain is not working today. I need shards. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. You go here, you place it in the top, you place a shard there, you place an ingot there, and you go tunk. Okay, so plus one max health, negative armor. I don't like that. Negative five speed, plus two armor, plus 10% durability. Ooh, there we go. Epic iron boots, let's go. Perfect. Okay. So yeah, that's how you do it. Easy peasy. And it's pretty easy to get amethyst shards as well, so. Alrighty, so I traded for some unbreaking with my villagers. And now um, I, I'd like to get some mending, but because I did all that... Uh, oh man, the villager trading took for freaking ever and I got so fed up and I was like, okay, well, mending for 34, fine, because I wanted to put it on the pickaxe, but now I'm regretting it because I want to put a, a mending on my gear. Oh, because I don't know... <laughs> I don't know what to repair this stuff with. Because it doesn't work with... Um, iron ingots. Does it work with silver though? Let's see. No. Oops. And I don't know how to repair it. Hmm. So, yeah. I guess I'll do some trading for some sticks. Because I really, really want mending on my gear. So I'm going to do that. And I guess we can speed that up or something. So you guys don't have to sit through the the pain of it. So we're going to go break down some trees. Oh, and uh, if you put your normal like axe in this little square here in your 4x4, it actually makes this cool axe, I guess, from the immersive uh, tools or whatever that mod is that does that, which is pretty cool. So yeah. Well, let's go break down some of these trees, get some sticks, trade with the villagers, and get some mending. Oh my god, 34. I can't, like, I'm really gonna have to redo the villagers for sure, because, uh, or at least that villager. Because holy cow, 34 for mending is painful, but I think at that point, like, I had been doing it for two to three hours, so I was just, I was, I was fed up. I was done. <laughs> I was over it. But I didn't think I had to, you know, gear. <laughs> I was just like, okay, I just want to do this axe for this pickaxe. I'm gonna grab some of these trees. Oh, is this one of those trees that was in the book? Let's see. Oh, it is! The Elder. Alright. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, it's getting, it's getting dark. Oops. I do that every time. Oh, a stick's in the way. Thankfully, we have a magnum torch down, but it'll be easier for you guys to see if it's daylight. Oh, and I gotta do burgers. Oh my goodness, I got a lot of work to do. Super grindy stuff. Honestly, I kind of enjoy that stuff, you know? I don't know if anyone else is like that, but anyone watching, I mean. But I love the grinds, except for when I'm rolling villagers for two to three hours. Oh my gosh, stop it! Grab these trees, get some sticks. We should have plenty. I'm gonna put all these extras away though. That. 
some sticks made. Definitely gonna have to get myself some more Fletchers for sure. Oh, so those twigs give you double the sticks. Nice, okay. All right, villagers, give me your emeralds. I have some mending to purchase for my my gear. Oh. oh my gosh, this is gonna take forever. Well, that's enough for one. <laughs> oh my god. Let's put it on the helmet. Endless quiver in here from trading. Okay. Oh, there's a mending right there. Nice. Efficiency five. Okay. All right. Let's put the mending on the helmet. And then we'll grab another mending. Okay. So we just need two more, at least one more. Oh, that didn't take too long. Uh, books. Books. I keep getting where my books are. Are you guys replenished yet? So painful, oh my god. Alright, so that's two. Okay. Um, I guess I'll trade a little bit. Since that didn't take too long, I'll trade for mending for the boots real quick. I know I'm putting this stuff on iron gear, but I don't have enough diamonds, so bear with me. <laughs> Early game madness. That should be enough. Go. And then we will go do the blimp. Because that is what I wanted to do before the end of the video. There we go. We're all repaired up. Nice. Beautiful. I'm going to have to fill up the water as well. go over to Iziblim and see what's going on up there. I know it's really high up, so if you got to figure out heights, you might not want to watch that. All right, let's go. So the blimp is over here. And that waypoint is pink, purple-ish, maroon, not maroon, magenta. I do have to get some waystones made, so let's see. I think it's um, ender pearls and flint for this. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to make another um, alchemist and get the ender pearl trades from him. So I can make some more waystones. So we are hurting for waystones, big time. Oh, 
More elder trees. Okay. Oh, this guy's all injured. Oh no. Thank you for protecting the village. Oh, I thought that was a bad call. Oh, Dacite is so pretty. All right. Hopefully it spawned in with the ladder. Let's see. So pretty. I love it. Actually, we need this for the pump, for the uh, the water pump. So let's just grab some of that. I forgot about that. Oh. Oh no. Oh, wait, is the ladder over there? Where's the ladder? No. I was worried about that. Ooh, mahogany. Oh no, I was worried about that. No, the ladder, because it spawned over top of a big forest. The ladder's broken. Um, well, I guess we are going to uh, nerf pole our way up. Let's just make a bunch of mahogany planks. Gosh, which side is the entrance on? I forget. Uh, uh, red. Um, I hope my magnum torch isn't gonna affect this. It doesn't affect spawners, so. The spawner should still be spawning bad baddies in there. Should be. <laughs> oh, I'm right below it. Uh, I'm gonna have to here. I think we're not on the right side. Oh, wait. This isn't the blimp I thought it was. This I thought this was the 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 the, the blimp with the ladder on it, but it's not. <gasps> it's a villager blimp. Wait. Shut up. Is this the one with the LA in it? Oh no, I don't think so. Where is everybody? Hello? This is a villager blimp, but there's no villagers. Oh no. Well, free loot, I guess. <laughs> I was hoping we were gonna have a battle. Oh man. Oh wow. What's this? Arcane Claymore? Whoa. Or was this a pillager blimp? But even still, they should still be here. The Magnum Torch shouldn't affect that. Ooh, ooh, the Frost Wand. Ooh, so we can try out the rune. We can try it. Whoa, what's this? Whoa. That's so cool looking. 11.5 attack damage? What? Whoa, I am so using, I need to, oh my God, I need to enchant that for sure. That's so cool. Oh, I put my burgers in the backpack. Cool. 
That's really neat. I'm actually gonna get rid of these, so I... Oh, I also just realized that I didn't put vein mining. Okay, so I, I have some work to do. I need to get vein mining on this axe. I need to um, get a better mending trader. Oops. This must have been a pillager one, but even still, like they should still be here. Because it doesn't affect spawns that are, <coughs> excuse me, that are already here. Oh, you know what? That could be why the golem is damaged. They may have all like jumped off to come like try to go to the village or something. I'm like trying to like think in my head what could have possibly happened. Oh, so much loot. Arcane spell blade. Whoa. Rune gleam boots. What is this? Arcane orb. Look at how cool that looks. Dude. This mod pack is so freaking cool. Okay, I know I just put mending and I'm breaking on this. I mean, I guess I could yoink it off with um, the grindstone. I'm definitely gonna have, whoa. Did I just get, holy cow, look at all my hearts. I guess they're orbs, but what does this look like? Oh, I'm, I need to get out of the room. Whoa. Oh my god, these weapons. Oh my god, I'm in love. Okay, so this is... Okay, for Arcane. Okay, 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 okay. Wow, this is so cool. Oh, wait, I, I got so excited I didn't finish looting. What's this? Totem of Shielding. This totem is mystical powers that shield those around it from projectiles. Does that go into... Any of my slots? It doesn't go into any of the slots? Do I have to hold it like a totem of undying? Well, that sucks. I kind of was hoping it would go in the totem slot. Okay. Oh, so the arcane orb is like a, a weapon. I'm getting so distracted. <gasps> that is so freaking cool. Dude. Okay, so. Okay. Okay, listen. That is so. Okay, it's from Spell. So, Spellblade Next is another mod that has magical weapons. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. We're gonna. Does Spellblade Next have a book? Hold on. By the way, devs, I'm, I'm sure no other devs are watching my videos, but thank you for making books to teach us. I'm hoping this one has a book as well. Um, let me Google really quickly and see. Spellblade next mod. Okay, so on CurseForge it's called Spellblades and such, formerly Spellblade next. Put spells on your Spellblade or other spell host. Put the item in a spellbinding table with bookshelves around it like an enchantment table. So there's different tables because each of these magic mods has their own table from what I've read unless I'm misreading it but is there a book though it doesn't say okay well I'm gonna have to look into that one hold on I'm gonna write it down words I'm gonna have to write down a whole list of things I need to do and look into holy guacamole what's this shield of infinity helmet a shield of infinity in no small part because it's infinitely cool Armor set effect infinite defense, but you lose 0 0.5 dropped experience. I mean, whatever, that's fine. Oh, so you need the set. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Wow. Oh my gosh. So many cool things. This is so crazy. Oh my God, I'm in love. I don't think I'm gonna have enough bag space for this. Please add another bag mod or something that has bigger backpacks, please. Unless there's like something in this pack that I'm missing that allows you to carry more stuff. Like some sort of magic, I don't know, sack. <laughs> that would be fitting for the pack. What's this? Corrupted seeds. A pouch of poisonous corrupted seeds which grow into spiky grap 
spiky grapple vines, entangling and slowly draining the life from its victims. <gasps> Ooh, look at this bow. Whoa. Whoa, do I have arrows on me? I don't have arrows on me. Oh yes, I do, I lied. Ooh, I can put endless quiver on this bow. <laughs> That's going to be so cool. Oh, I am so excited to trade and get some emeralds and get that enchanted. Oh my god, so many ones. Runefrost leggings. Okay, and I think that's a fire wand. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is wild. Rune gleam chest plate. Max max health luck, magic protection. Cool. Frost orb. Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. This is just like Oh, I accidentally put a torch down now. I can't <laughs> but I can't break it. Smack you with my flask. There's something I wanted to tell you guys, and I completely forget what I was gonna say. The marine is just on overload today. Star shield chest plate. <clears throat> okay, so we're definitely gonna have to look for sets because apparently sets are really important. I'm hoping I find a backpack. Oh, this is wild. I don't have a... Do I have a waystone on me? No, I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go home before I can finish looting this boat. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I can actually get rid of some of the stuff though, like these um these things here. Uh so maybe it was a pillager boat. <clears throat> yeah. Gong of Weakening. This ancient gong marked with the symbol the symbols of a nameless kingdom feels safe in your hands but emits a menacing hum to those nearby. Ooh, that crossbow is cool looking. I don't need this many frost ones, so I'm just gonna get rid of some of them so I can free up some bag space. I don't need two claymores. What else can I get rid of? Um, I don't care about bamboo leaves. Um. <clears throat> What's this? 1337 fleas, what? Cross that. Cross that. Don't need all of these wands. Don't need that. Seek, sing, ponder. I don't need the two ponders. Seek, sing. I don't need two sings. Ponder, feel. Okay. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Um. Okay. Oh my gosh, there's still two more rooms. I'm not gonna have space for this. This is a crazy loot place. Oh my god. This is wild. Absolutely wild. Is it nighttime? No. Okay. What's this? Power shaker. 
The power, sa power shaker is a smashing good time, though it may not be as fun for your enemies. <laughs> Death cat mushroom. Oh my god, there's so many things. I don't know what's happening here. Oh my god. Wait, does the stuff I have on have... Okay, no, it doesn't. chest plate thief mask invisibility what oh i didn't oh my gosh <laughs> inventory management please I'm just gonna take the stuff that I want and not deal with this. I guess I really don't need that many arcane orbs either. Honestly, shock powder. Spell infinity. Oh, so it's like infinity for a bow, but for spells. So it doesn't cost mana. Nice. That is so cool. Ooh, fire orb. Dang, we're getting all the goodies. Definitely don't need two frost spell blades, though. Definitely don't need all of these orbs oh i got all three of the orbs though that's cool um oh my god <laughs> this is crazy oh my god i need a waystone um oh, all right uh this is gonna be a problem Okay, maybe not. Thankfully, there's a lot of repeats I can stack. <gasps> okay, oh, I thought that was something different. I kind of don't want to toss out the power shakers. Uptide protection, I don't care about any of these. Um, I don't need two of those. I don't need that. I don't need that. Guess I'm just gonna have to get rid of this mahogany and come back for some because I just need the bag space. Oops, why is it doing that? There we go. Oh, I don't need those either. I know how Eden Ring works. Um, is there anything in here I can get rid of? Negative. All right. Really missing my waystones. Those, take that. I don't need the fire orb. That's. Oh, it sucks having to do this. I hate leaving loot behind. <clears throat> I might also, I can also come back up here afterwards as well. And come back and grab things. Oh, we're already full. Get rid of those because those have a negative effect. What are these? Thief belt. <clears throat> I don't have a belt yet. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm losing my voice. 
It doesn't go in the belt slot, though. So how are you... S These things are supposed to go in your armor slots, aren't they? What the heck? Guess I'm gonna have to look in the Discord to see if anyone else has reported it, because that's weird. It should be able to go in your, in your slots. Ooh, mending, perfect. Oh, they're already. Goodness. Okay. Um. About here. Those. 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 All right. I think. Hopefully, <laughs> that that is it for the loot. Is it nighttime? I don't have space to take my bag out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I can't put that there. Thank you. Um. Oh, I don't need those. Don't need that now for sure. I feel like I spend so much of my episodes like emptying my bags, but oh, I can't do anything about it right now. <laughs> oh wait, we have to go this way. There's no chest up here. Oh, but there is an office in here. I do want these and these if I can have them. Don't need those. Oh. Okay, I think. Oh, nope. I see another office up there. Oh, boy. <laughs> Normally I'm so excited for loot, but like I have <laughs> space for it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. And I want that bow. <laughs> Okay, I'll grab the bow. I'll grab those, because I know it's in one of these bags. Okay. Grab that, grab that. Go between the two and put stuff away. Um, I don't need oops, any of this stuff. Okay. I will take the books, thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so painful. Oh no. I can't do any oh I don't need that. Um or that. Oh my goodness. This is <laughs> I know I have onions in there. I know I have onions in there. <laughs> this is so funny. Uh, I don't really need any of that stuff. Okay. Now is it done? Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> Holy cow. All right, back home we go. Oh, 
Almost forgot to crouch. Definitely have to get mending on this. Okay. Oh, kitty cat. Alright, back home we go. At least we know we have a, a big, beautiful mahogany forest here that's got no baddies in it, thanks to the magnum torch. Which is nice because, oof, those mahogany forests are something else. Hello, sheep! Ooh, and pretty flowers, too. Nice! I think that's going to be on my, my list for myself after I'm done recording. I need to do the villager and read up on some of these mods. Because good grief, there are so many amazing magic mods in here. Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching episode 3. This was so much fun and lots to learn and lots to do and lots to see, but we've got so many more episodes. Um, down the line to learn everything that we need to learn so i can't wait for the next episode and thank you again for coming to check out the content i really appreciate it and i will see you in the next one goodbye